All right, fellas, so um, bright and early, up at it again. Ah, didn't do my back stretch. All right, so today's uh, talk is going to be about uh, beyond the point, it's all mental. Now, I don't mean mental, that's in Looney Tune. Speaking of Looney Tunes, yours truly, uh, with all the running and all the road work on the streets, from the very mean streets of New Delhi, where you're gonna, you're liable to get run over. I'm <laughs> literally, I'm running on these busy ass roads with traffic coming at me from all directions, and uh, you know it's crazy, it's chaotic. Just do a Google on uh, New Delhi, India traffic, you'll see what I mean, you know. And this city is especially bad, anyway. And I've been running, you know, subway stairs. I've been running. Um, overpasses, you know, what they call quote-unquote flyovers here. Some things, well, India will never get past the British colonial heritage <laughs> or the colonial hangover, I should say. Uh, <laughs> right down to the wine and beer shops. Anyway, I mean, what the fuck, man? I mean, you get whiskey, you get vodka, you get all that shit there. Just call it a liquor store. But no, you got to call it a wine and beer store. Not just that, you got to call it an English wine and beer store. So it's not an American beer. You don't get no... It's hilarious, man. India, these things. Anyway, so my leg, you know, I've been talking about it a lot, you know, my... Me, my hamstrings are actually weak, you know, and they've been strengthened a lot with my isometrics program, uh, which a lot of you have bought, a lot of you are enjoying it, especially the audiobooks. I had never thought that the audiobooks, I, I literally, like John Walker, a customer of mine, told me, he, you know, after we got kicked off of Amazon and all that, uh, and after I refused to go back to Amazon, most people... Hey, I'm not the only person that this has happened to. A lot of people don't believe it, but Google it. There's plenty of people. Now, Amazon is the big dog in the house, so 800-pound gorilla. Everybody and their mother will try and get back to am on Amazon. My own publishers on the other business, my, well, not my, I mean, right now I publish myself, but I'm saying, uh, you know, many years ago, those are great guys, you know, Phil and Steve, these guys... They tried five times getting back on Amazon because the hidden sales, man, is just, uh, for me, I didn't give a shit. I didn't care, you know. Uh, I'm not going to beg somebody that, you know, did me wrong. Amazon did us wrong, you know. And then, you know, end of the day, there's that universal court of justice and Amazon is paying for it. And But anyway, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get into all that. But so my leg, you know. Literally, when I'm running, after a point, it'll buckle. This part will buckle. Now, I've spoken before about how David Goggins, you know, he talks about how the first 20 minutes of his run is simply getting past all his pre-existing injuries. You know, I don't have that many pre-existing injuries, but I do my shoulder, my... It's kind of like, you know, Steve Austin was talking about breaking Sylvester Stallone's neck accidentally, but he was like, you know, Sly, that guy, he's been banged up, beat up so often that he's, it's almost like a pro fucking wrestler, you know. I've got a lot of fucking, you know, my thumb injury, you know, handstand push-ups popped in and out, you know, my leg, my hamstrings, uh, and I've got this issue with my right shoulder, which never fully went away. Uh, anyway, the book on isometrics, yeah, I mean, I never thought, you know, John Walker, he was like, you know, how the hell can people buy audiobooks and fitness, other things, yeah. And I mean, you know, when I, you know, when I did the audiobooks, uh, my perspective, my goal was not so much fitness. It was a lot of mamas in the kitchen need something to listen to. Maybe they'll listen to this, you know. It was just a, another one of those ideas. Funnily enough, we got kicked off of Amazon in its entirety. Uh, on the other business, both the audiobooks and... Uh, the physical books, this business, just the physical books and the digital books, and uh, but the audio books, fuck if I know, man, Amazon, you know, they're still going strong. So be it, long little, you know, maybe there's a reason. Everything happens for a reason, okay? Uh, but a lot of you buying the audio books are obviously getting it because, um, 
you know, I'll be writing about it, then somebody buys it. I can monitor that shit, you know, I can feel it. A lot of you are getting it because it's cheaper than the physical books. But don't be a cheap ass man, get the boat. You need to see how to do these things. You can't just hear it. Although the narrators have done a fabulously fantastic job. Anyway, my point being, my leg, every 15 minutes or so, just buckles and I have to stop my right leg. Cause, uh, or I'll just, you know, I literally fell down in the middle of traffic in uh, on this busy road they call Outer Ring Road. Oh, I thank my, <laughs> my creator or my lucky stars or the universe or whatever it is, the goddamn bus didn't run over me because I fucking just buckled my, my, my leg, you know, I was half fed through my run and that injury just uh, isn't, now I could rest up for a couple of weeks, you know, most people would tell me to do that. When I had my thumb injury, it was so painful, my entire hand was swollen up like this. When I fell on my chin when doing handstand push-ups, I still have the scar here. You just can't see it because of the beard. I still remember this girl, what was her name? Uh, this English teacher or whatever she, I mean, you know, I can't remember her name, but uh, she was like, Michael, you need to go to a doctor ASAP. Uh, my buddy, uh, my student, uh, Italian guy, Johnny, uh, he, he used to be a wrestler. Now, this is a big strapping motherfucker, was in the Italian army, he used to be a wrestler in Italy. Uh, he took one look at that hand and he said, look, man, you got to get yourself to a fucking doctor. Me? It happened on the 2nd, I believe, 2nd of January. Uh, 2018, and my birthday was in two days. There was no fucking way I was going to go through my birthday without doing fingertip push-ups. Uh, doctor, he would have splinted, so I just, you know, the only treatment I took was a cold corona, uh, I, <laughs> and I held it here. My buddy from the Marines, he told me, well, that injury is never going to go away. Every winter, you're going to have pain. Pain? I can barely feel it now. You know, anyway... Uh, well, I can't even feel it. Anyway, my point in saying all this is, let's get back to Looney Tunes. Is Raul the only Looney Tune that'll run out there with a broken fucking leg? Almost broken, you know, a buckling leg, you know. The only Looney Tune that'll do fingertip push-ups with a thumb that can barely function. Uh... And in cold weather, in cold, rainy weather, and weather that most people uh, don't even want to get out in, you know. Am I the only motherfucker that climbs hills in excruciatingly hot weather that makes it feel that you're breathing in fire with every climb? With, 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 literally, it feels like you're breathing fire in. And I don't mean cigarettes. I mean fire. That motherfucker was hot. Uh, am I the only lunatic that climbs hills to the point where sweat is dripping off of me like I'm in the fucking char, in a fast running char, and I'm not kidding you? Probably. But... Uh, unless you uh, unless you count David Goggins, but that brings me to the central focus of this video. Beyond a point, it's all mental. Now, what do I mean by this? Look, let's take tennis players, let's take ball players, uh, basketball, let's take, you know, uh, what separates, let's say, somebody like, uh, in any sphere of life, uh, Kobe Bryant or... Uh, let's say, a Michael Jordan from maybe others that technically are just as good, if not better. What separates the cream from the merely good, okay? Let's say you have a gathering of martial artists. They're all fifth-degree Dan Black Belts. But there's going to be that one guy or one girl in that group that just has the X factor, that has it. You can feel it. They don't even need to talk. You look at the person, kind of like with me, and you can feel it. That's there.
beyond a certain point, everything except the metal ceases to matter. Look, man, when I'm running out there, it hurts like a son of a bitch. Now, it'll probably hurt for another month or so, you know, before that injury just gets calloused over. It'll never go away. It'll get calloused over. Uh, or maybe it'll go away. I don't know. But uh, it, it's hard to say. I'm, this way, I'm literally limping through my run. People look at me like this guy is crazy, you know. Maybe I am, but fitness-wise, you results, man, results. Look, anyway, but that, that isn't the point. The point is you can have all the training in the world, you can have all the conditioning in the world, but, you, but if you're not mentally there, you, you're, you're going to be good still because you're training, you're conditioning. This goes for if you're playing sports, if you're a public speaker, if you're a motivational speaker, if you're an athlete, no matter what you do, if you're a businessman or businesswoman, until a certain point, you'll still be good because your training, your discipline, all those other things, they'll still be there. When you really get to high levels, both mentally and physically, you have to pass a whole barrage of fucking tests. Napoleon Hill wrote about this in Think and Grow Rich, uh, a book that many, many think, you know. It's interesting how so many people follow these idiot gurus who tell you, you know, chant mantras, beats, chains, amulets, you know, uh, feed the fucking, I don't know. You know, all these weird things that, you know, people, you know, uh, over that... Uh, feed two crows something and, you know, feed the dog on certain days and, uh, you know, go to the fucking, uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, all that other bullshit. But the true self-help gurus, uh, Emerson, the sage of Concord, you know, and then Napoleon Hill, you know, these guys, you can read their books, Claude Bristol, The Magic of Believing. I get nothing for promoting these guys, nothing at all. But I want you to get all of their fucking books. They have helped me. I live by their philosophy. Uh, I've always done it subconsciously on autopilot. But I still read those books. I, I must have done read Magic of Believing uh, about at least a thousand times. I'm not shitting you. Okay, because uh, I first got that book in 2018, and, uh, you know, it's been a thousand days. I, there's not been a single day I haven't revisited a, pa uh, a part of Think and Grow Rich, Magic of Believing, Emerson's Laws of Compensation. Of course, these things aren't easy to implement, and, but the, it depends, you know, if you're a doer, they are. So people, you know, think by just wearing the color purple or, you know, whatever bullshit your guru tells you to do, so-called guru, because he's got a million followers, they think it's going to change their life miraculously. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Anyway, uh, so those books, beyond a certain point, man, look, you can have fantastic athletes on the field. They all have the same level of Output, talent, training, no matter what you do. But it's really the guy who's willing to go through the pain. I'll give you another example. South African cricketer, Graham Smith. Man, his hamstring was completely gone. Now, this is a big, strapping motherfucker. Uh, he was playing the Palms, the English. Um, they were chasing down a big total. And uh, Graham Smith is one of the South African greats. He's not acknowledged as such. He says it like it is. Quentin DeCock, Graham Smith. I mean, just because of their skin color, they're not, you know, they're white. And in South Africa, you you have to say everything black is I mean, Don't get me wrong, you know, it has a horrible history. But, you know, you got to get past that. People just don't want to get past that. Graham Smith is one of the greats of the games. I've always admired him. And I'll still remember that motherfucker. He made 130 runs not out and, uh, or made, you know, and cricket is, you know, one day game, you have to sprint. You have to sprint like a son of a bitch. I mean, unless you can hit the ball out of the park all the time, which not everybody can do. Uh, it was hot. It was humid. I believe it was in Melbourne or I, I can't remember where they played that game. But that motherfucker could barely walk up the steps to the pavilion. 
he was dragging his legs behind and back at that time he was refused to run or now in cricket you have this rule where if you can't run you know you can have a substitute person assuming your injury but then they didn't give him that runner because uh if that injury is a pre-existing injury then they give you a runner but if you incur it on the field tough shit then you <laughs> then you just deal with it most people wouldn't even have bad at that long that motherfucker Oh, I'll, I'll remember. It's an iconic image. I mean, the guy was dragging his leg behind like this. And uh, that's basically what I have to do during my runs or I'm simply not going to get it fucking done. You know, that's the bottom line. Beyond a certain point, man, it's all mental. Again, it comes back. If you can fight through the mental pain, if you can get through those mental barriers, you're designed for greatness, destined for, you know, uh, for greatness, no matter uh, what field you're in. The loftier your goals, the more challenges life will throw at you in ways you never ever imagined. The loftier your goals and the more you ascend, the more people around you will think you're a fucking lunatic. The more people that you thought were close to you or should be closest to you will hate you. They'll hate you with the burning passion. Uh, They just won't say it. Uh, You know, friends will fall by the wayside. New friends will come. You'll figure out who's really in uh, line with your purpose, your, you know. But only if you have the mental fortitude. You can call it persistence, but it's more than persistence. Persistence is keep doing the thing. Mental strength is keep doing this thing, knowing you'll get a fucking result. And you know it inside of yourself. Uh, It ties into successful manifestation. I was trying to manifest something, just a very little thing, just yesterday. It was kind of delayed, you know, uh... Why it was de- why it wasn't delayed. It was the weekend, and there were some some issues, some payment issues and stuff. And uh, man, last night all I was doing was I was pacing up and down. I was you know I, I did my workout. I was like I'm going to solve this. I'm going to solve this. Then I went to bed all night long. I had dreams. My maternal grandmother, my paternal grand, my paternal grandfather. That's a new new one. I mean my maternal grandmother and. No, my paternal grandmother and my maternal uncle. Now, I've spoken about that before. They show up in my dreams. And, uh, man, last night it was, uh, it seems. Now, nobody in my family tells me anything because I'm the black skeleton, the black sheep, whatever. But it seems she suffered a lot before she died. Now, I do know before she passed. Now, I do know my paternal grandfather, he suffered a lot. They told me about that. But uh, I could literally feel my grandmother yelling out in pain, you know. Uh, And it, I've never had that before, you know. Uh, And this was while thinking about other problems. Now, these people, always my uncle, maternal maternal uncle. uh, I've spoken about all this so many times before, man. They, They show up, you know, every time I need assistance, guidance. Funnily enough, it's... People think it's all a bunch of bullshit, you know, but it's not. If you can decipher your fucking dream. And so, anyway, I had this goal last night. I'm going to solve this fucking problem. I'm going to solve this fucking problem. I'm going to solve this morning. I did, you know. Uh, So that's what it's about. You have to have the mental strength. You have to believe that you'll do it. If you don't believe that you'll do it, you can be persistent. You'll still get results, but you're not going to get the rarefied results that I do, that you do, uh, that you want, you know. The magic of believing, man. Belief makes things happen. Repetition of the same chant, the same incantation, the same affirmations. Affirmations done right. You can say, I am rich all day long, but if you're... If you're not rich, your mind isn't stupid anyway. Repetition of the same chant, the same incantations, the same affirmations uh, leads to belief. Once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. Claude Bristol. Read those three books I told you. Listen to what I'm saying. 
fitness, life, business, it applies everywhere. Maybe I'll write about it, maybe I won't. But this video, you must listen to this. See you all later.